Good morning to all my friends and family and welcome to Jim's 5am club. It's Saturday morning, it's been raining a bit but uh, I'm off to work and before I get to work I thought I'd have a chat to you about a topic which is close and dear to me and it's all about reward and recognition and how to get the best out of ourselves and people around us. Many years ago, when I was a young executive working in the telecommunications industry, I read a book which used a wonderful metaphor and, and an analogy on how to train dolphins and how to use reward and recognition to get the best, to get the best out of uh, the dolphin and to lead them in a way to get to do those tricks, those wonderful tricks that uh, that dolphins do in, um, in the zoo when, uh, when they're performing. And the dolphin trainer took us through some of the took us through some of their secrets, and it was quite profound because a lot of the things that the dolphin trainers do, we can do in our own lives to uh, reinforce, to positively reinforce behaviours and habits that we want to, uh, to be able to do over and over again. And uh, I'll take you through those and uh, you'll be, you'll be very interested in, uh, in how they go about it as I was when I learned about it as well. So basically the, uh, the dolphin trainers um, have to get dolphins which are in the water, are in a different medium, to do certain things and to get them to do them over and over again on demand. So uh, the way the dolphin trainers do it is through reward and recognition and never through punishment and admonition. Um, so it's all about the concept of positive reinforcement and having been a parent throughout the years, I found that positive reinforcement always brings out the best in me and brought out the best in my children as well as all, the, all, all people around us. So the dolphin trainer would use little fish, so food, as a, as, a, uh, as a reward. And when a dolphin would do something uh, that was um, considered to be in the direction of where the trainer wanted it to go, or, or it performed something which was um, considered to be um, a, a next step, of a trick, the dolphin trainer would use fish as a reward. So the fish would be the reward that would encourage the dolphin to want to do or want to uh, repeat something that had been done before. So when, so as a parent, you, you, you'll find that that children do things which are wrong. And do things which are some things that are right. And when you catch the child or the the dolphin doing something which is considered to be right, you reward it through positive reinforcement, through food, through feeding. So if the dolphin trainer wanted the uh, the dolphin to teach the dolphin how to do a particular trick, he would slap the water, for example. And when the dolphin came closer, he would re reward it with a fish, so the dolphin then associated the slapping with a reward, and uh, every time he'd, they'd slap the water, the dolphin would come to the surface and be rewarded. So once again, re re reward, recognition and acknowledgement 
but what the dolphin trainers found is after a while the dolphin got used to getting the fish and would lose interest so in order to regain that interest every now and then the dolphin trainer would need to give a, a bonus or a jackpot reward and throw three or four fish in the water just to uh, just to make sure that the dolphin maintained its interest and I found that very very powerful because sometimes with the people around us with our friends and family now we'll, we'll, we'll reward them on occasion but sometimes you need to give them a jackpot a jackpot reward even if they don't deserve it even if their response is not an, an, an awesome response because it's through these jackpot rewards that people have a heightened interest and will uh, continue to uh, to want to um, to engage. Um, I worked for many many years in corporate Australia, like most people, with a silent, uh, with a quiet achievers, working, slogging away. And there's nothing more important than peer recognition. Just being told that you're doing a good job every now and then is really really good and getting an, a, an award or a reward is also something which really really is well received so in our engagement with our friends and family always remember that people even if they're not asking for it are looking for reward and recognition through kind words and every now and then you can provide them with a jackpot of attention even when they don't deserve it you will see that it will have a, a magical impact on the relationship um, like a little surprise bringing flowers home to your wife or partner uh, going going to a, or a volta in the middle of the week we're just doing something which is just not expected it's those rewards when they are not expected that are the ones which are most cherished and most remembered so like a dolphin trainer we need to train ourselves um, so every time we achieve a micro goal reward yourself go and get yourself something every now and then reward yourself with a jackpot because you deserve it reward your family your friends your work peers with kind words heap praise on them when uh, when you when you genuinely think that they've done something great let them know if somebody's had a haircut and they're looking sharp let them know and uh, yeah, don't shy away from being positive with your uh, with your uh, reinforcement and with your uh, with your positive words. Anyway, that's all from me for today. But just remember, be a dolphin trainer with your friends and family and the people around you. Take time to notice what they're doing show interest and I don't mean just going through the motions I mean being genuine in your interests and uh, every now and then be generous and over generous because people need that, uh, that, that, that jackpot of uh, generosity and of attention so enough from me, have a great, great Saturday.